Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you the video comparisons between the Fujifilm X-T5 and the X-H2S. Let me just warn you guys first and say that I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. I'm probably not the guy for this job. I'm not a filmmaker, so I don't know what I'm looking for. So take everything with a grain of salt and perhaps do more research by looking at other videos out there on uh, YouTube. The reason why I'm doing this is because I have a few a few of you guys asking for this comparison So I thought I obliged. We're just going to compare both cameras video capabilities before I show you the video I just want to say that I shot everything in F-Log2 But with the Fujifilm X-T5 the base ISO is ISO 1000 for F-Log2 and the X-H2S is ISO 1250 so I had to bump the X-T5 ISO to match that of the X-H2S. I also shot everything at 5600 Kelvin and shot in 10 bit 422 at 320 megabits per second. So with that out of the way, I'm just going to shut my mouth and uh, have you guys watch the video and take a look for yourself. Enjoy.
So, what do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think of that uh, comparison video. I did find the X-T5 to be noisier than the X-H2S. Again, that's 40 megapixel versus 26. So obviously there is going to be more noise in the 40 megapixel sensor, but that's only if you zoom in to like 300% and really, really pixel peak. If there is proper and ample lighting around, uh, videos for both cameras are going to look good regardless. And I also noticed that putting them side by side, they're not the same color, even though I use uh, the exact same settings. And I also noticed that the dynamic range on the X-H2S is better than the X-T5, but we already know this. Let me know what else you guys notice. Again, I'm not a filmmaker, pixel peeping and comparison videos. I do mainly for you guys who requested them. I'm much more of a, uh, let's take this outside and see what it can do. And I encourage you guys to do the same because these comparison videos are great for y'all, but then you guys get into this weird indecisive energy and you stress about making a decision on what camera or what gear to buy. And I get it, like, I, you know, I get it. You guys want to get the best bang for your buck and you want to see if it's worth it. But I feel like stuff like this is quite minuscule at the end of the day. Any modern camera is great. Any modern camera at all, regardless of the brand. You got Canon, you got Nikon, you got Sony. They're all great. They're all great cameras. Just, just pick one and they'll do the job. But that's just me though, that's just me though. Again, if you did find this video helpful or useful, do me a favor and uh, hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel out. I got more Fuji content coming your way. And as always, my name is Tung and I'll see you in the next video. I love you. Okay, bye.